Manifestation. I love talking about manifestation. Manifestation is magic. Manifestation works. Now, manifestation might not work for you, but that's not because the universe isn't set up in such a way to allow manifestation works to work. That's because somewhere within us, something's not connecting, something's not lining up, but manifestation works. But in order for manifestation to work, you got to follow the formula of manifestation. And the formula I've spoken about many times before, I won't belabor you guys with this information today. Go through my videos, y'all, especially my Neville Goddard videos. But essentially you have to have the intention, like you got to know what you want to manifest. How many people don't even have that? I just, I just want to be happy. Cool. But what does that look like? Like, let's get some goals. Let's start thinking. Let's start envisioning the people perish for a lack of vision. <laughs> you have to have the vision of it. You have to have the intention. That's the first part. The second thing you do is you have to have the transmission. We've got to be able to send that out to the universe so that the universe returns it unto us. But the third thing we have to have is the feeling. The feeling is actually the transmission. There's the thinker, there's the universe, and then there's the feeling that connects the two. And sometimes we want to manifest things that we've never actually experienced before. Some of us might want to manifest becoming a billionaire. Now, I mean, I've never been a billionaire. I wouldn't want to, I don't need to be a billionaire. So that's not anything I would want to manifest. Maybe some of us have never been in love before. We haven't found our soulmate yet. And we don't know what it feels like to be in love, but we know that we want it. But in order to transmit that message to the universe, which is going to supply us with it, it will manifest it for us. We have to have a feeling about that. We have to feel like we are in love now. We have to feel like we are with our soulmate now. But if we don't know what that feels like, how do we get the feeling? And this is where gratitude comes in. I call this just a substitution. If you can't hook into the specific feeling of what it is that you want, then use grati gratitude as a substitute. Use the energy and the vibration of being truly, deeply grateful, so lovingly grateful for something to infuse your intention and then transmit that to the universe. It works really, really well as a substitution if you can't hook into your manifestation feeling. Now, if you do know what it feels like, maybe you want to reconnect with someone. Maybe you want to get back together with someone you've broken up with. Not always advisable people, but maybe you know what it feels like to be with that person. So you can conjure within yourself the feeling of that because it's familiar to you. But when it's not familiar to you, you can use gratitude. It truly is powerful. Help me continue to create ad-free spiritual content by supporting me on Patreon. Depending on the tiers selected, you can receive one free lesson a month or access to a live Zoom meetup where members receive intuitive readings, attunements, and more. Every dollar really does help. Now, on to the video.